Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVPNet's video series on exception handling and this is about stack unwinding, meaning when this stack unwinding happens and what is the order of the unwinding, like from top to bottom or bottom to top. So I have created this small example here in main function and yeah, this will only happen if you are using exception handling. So this terminology is used for exception handling cases only. So we can see that we are in a try catch block we have created two constructor, I mean, we have created two objects and then there is a sudden exception. So this is kind of a simulation I'm doing here. So let's say you have some exception hitting here and then as you are throwing from here, the moment you go out of this try block, these automatic variable. So always remember the automatic variable will only get auto destructed. Otherwise you will have to take care of these dynamically created memory by yourself. So these two will get destructed, but in what order? The order is reverse order. You will destruct B first and then A. So construction is always in this order, right? From top to bottom, the previous line will get instructed first and then it will call this one. But in stack unwinding, it will be reverse. And the reason what I can think is like maybe the later one is actually depending on the previous one. So if you will remove the previous one and then you will go for the later one, it will cause an issue. So before you go to top one, you should remove in a reverse order. So that will make more sense. And then it will come here and obviously it will then come here. So let's quickly run this and sum up this video because there is nothing much in this video to understand this topic. And in try block, it is constructing A and constructing B. And then see, I told you, right, it is going to be in a reverse order. So B is going to get destructed first and then A and then exception is caught here. We are printing E's message what we are message sending from here and that's it. After printing this message, we are saying that we are resuming, we are not terminating. So always remember the final line is stack unwinding happens in reverse order and it always happens in case of exception handling only. And if there is a rethrow, like there is a series of calls and then from there you are coming back, then in that case, all those subsequent tries previously constructed objects will also get destroyed in the reverse order. So the phenomena is always same. It will be destructed in a reverse order and only automatic will get destructed. So always remember this with this note. I'll sum up this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.